firearms. We all love them. In this video, I'm going to get right to the point. It's to keep you out of jail. Do I have your attention? This is going to all of the law-abiding citizens in the United States. Everybody who is like perfect, high credit score, concealed weapons permit, whether you're 21, 18, retired military, re retired Leo, 65, 55, doesn't matter what your age is, you just have a perfect life, a perfect everything going, a family, successful, everything going for you. Or you're just a regular guy who's, who's an honest guy, it doesn't matter. The point is, did you realize because you love firearms, you have to really understand the laws of your state. And in the next 15 minutes, if I can keep you out of jail on felony charges, do I have your attention? The Constitution of the United States. Here's a little booklet, and I'm going to show you a paragraph inside this booklet, as we know as the Second Amendment. Okay, of all the 27 amendments, this is the one that pertains to most gun channels and all of us gun enthusiasts, and I'll read it closely. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Notice the word state is, is singular, meaning all states, meaning all 50 states. Meaning we are all one. I think all the 50 states should look at the Second Amendment equally. Okay, I've got a red background for a reason. That means stop and listen. Danger could be ahead. Specifically, if you get a phone call from a buddy, say in Rhode Island, and he goes, hey, legitimately, I got this range in my backyard and it's legal in Rhode Island. For me to shoot, I got seven acres. Come on up, Billy. Come on up. You're down in Georgia. And you say, well, all right. I'll jump in my car and take a ride up there. I'll load up my guns and I'll see you in, in 18 hours. I'm on my way. Well, I got news for you, Billy. You might be going to jail. And this is why. Because you need to know this, the laws of each individual state. And this booklet could save your butt. The Traveler's Guide to the Firearms Laws of all 50 states updated every year. This is the 2011 edition. I'm gonna breeze through it and here we go. I highly recommend you purchase this pamphlet. It's 15 to 20 dollars approximately. I'll give you the website momentarily. Uh, when you purchase it, make sure you pay for the priority mail. It's an extra 2 or $3 dollars. Otherwise, it gets lost in the mail, in bulk mail. Anyway, uh, this first page of the booklet will tell you the laws that have changed, a broad stroke of the laws that have changed in the past 12 months. Okay, this portion of the booklet is the traveler's checklist and the terms defined. I specifically, um, I want to talk about if you go to an eating establishment, such as an Applebee's or Friday's, and what would happen if your state does not allow you to carry a concealed weapon at the bar? And it's, it's a little confusing. Uh, this is a newly added section to the booklet for 2011, which is very important that you understand these laws. So, like I said, if you're carrying a gun, you're probably going to go out to eat during the day. Um, the bottom line is if you go to an establishment like an Applebee's or a Friday's that serves alcohols, but produce most of their income from the sale of food, the term would not include Joe's Corner Bar that may serve pizzas or pretzels. The bottom line is whether you're going to a pub, you're going to a restaurant, you're going somewhere with your children and they have beer in the corner over there for adults, it, everything changes when there's alcohol involved. You need to understand the laws in your state if you're entering into an establishment that serves alcohol. It's huge. You don't want to get in trouble for something silly. Now each state 
has different laws on these definitions like loaded versus unloaded well we know what that means the gun is either loaded or it's unloaded right no that's not the case some states say and if you read this closely we don't have all that much time but some states say and it, can we see that see it highlighted in yellow some states consider guns that are in close proximity two magazines containing ammunition to be loaded huh so if you have an empty gun in your in glove compartment and you've got the magazine loaded in your trunk you got a loaded gun felony you're arrested how about open carry what is the definition of open carry it sounds like you can open carry right now a good thing happened in florida just re recently uh... sb senate bill four three two you can look it up it just passed by four to three Good thing. It's a good thing it passed. That means we have open carry in Florida. Well, what is the definition of open carry? In this case, it means you can't be arrested if you're printing or if the wind blows and your gun accidentally flashes by mistake. But you can't just walk around showing a gun. That's a felony. Still with the new law. So open carry, every state has different definitions of what they consider open carry. I'm spending some time on this because I think it's really important. Now, if you transport through restrictive states. Oh boy. Oh boy. Interstate transport. Remember I told you about Billy going up to uh, Rhode Island to visit his buddy? You do not want to go through Maryland, Billy. You're going to go straight to jail. Every state's different. How about traffic stops? What do you do with a traffic stop? We know the general things to do. You put your hands at 11 and 1 o'clock at the steering wheel and respectfully talk to law enforcement and say, here's my driver's license, here's my concealed weapons permit and be very respectful. I mean, my, my father's law enforcement. Uh, my uncle was killed in the line of duty as a police officer. My brother-in-law's law enforcement, Tampa Police. I come from a family of law enforcement. All my best friends are law enforcement. I ha have a high respect for law enforcement and military. My childhood friend is a general in the Army. So, traffic stops. This booklet will tell you what to do in traffic stops in your state and, and what to be aware of. Okay, this portion uh, explains as a broad stroke universally restricted areas. These are federal laws for all 50 states. We know what they are. Um, courthouses, you can't go to a police station, you can't go to schools. Um, all the normal things that we know that you cannot enter with, with, with a gun. But there's a lot more than you realize. You need to read this portion closely. National parks, forests. Indian reservations. Hmm. I live very close to the Hard Rock Cafe in Fort Lauderdale. I don't know. Can I go there? And which is a huge, huge resort. Unfortunately, where Anna Nicole Smith died. Can I go there and carry my weapon? I don't know. You better read this. It's an Indian reservation. And going down here. What if you're a biker? Hey, I'm into you, biker dudes. I'm into motocross, not street bikes. I want to get a street bike. I want to get that huge. Uh, I think it's a Yamaha Valkyrie. But I'm into street biking, and uh, dirt bikes especially, but did you know that depending on what state you're in, the rear compartment of a motorcycle can qualify as a trunk, or maybe not. <laughs> it, it just depends on what state you're in. So you need to know that. And what's on the bottom there? What if you're traveling in an RV, motorhome? Hey, let's go down to the Daytona 500, we're in an RV, everything's cool. We're going from North Carolina, and let's drive down and watch the Daytona 500 in Florida. I don't know. Is it a car? Is it a home on wheels? What does the state law say? Read the pamphlet. What if you're traveling by air, cruise ship, train, Greyhound bus? A lot of guys think, well, I'll just take a bus across country and throw everything in my uh, duffel bag. I'm cool. Not the case. Train, not the case. Gosh, what if the bus got in an accident and everyone had to get out of the bus and all bags were inspected? We're talking a felony. So this specific portion of the booklet will teach you about the laws as you cross the state, whether you're in an air, airplane, cruise ship, train, Greyhound bus. How about current and retired law enforcement officers? What are your rules? What are your regulations? Are you like every other citizen? Or do you have special privileges? You better read up on it. You'll be surprised. The Castle Doctrine which is an NRA spot sponsored statute. Very cool. 
Um, in Florida, we have this, and I like this. It's the way it should be. If you're being attacked, whether you're in your home or your car, you have the right to stand your ground. And unfortunately, if you're being attacked, you can, t you can shoot the, the perpetrator and, and not be arrested for it. But not all states have the Castle Doctrine, and all states look at this law differently. The rest of this booklet is what I find the most interesting. On the top of each page, uh, it'll give you the state, and then a parameter of total freedom to the right of 100%, and to the left, total prohibition, which basically sucks. So, um, also on each page of each state, I'll pan out and walk up to it and talk about it. It's gonna, it's gonna, um, it's gonna detail out each state's what they what they view as standard firearms ownership, semi-auto gun ownership, machine gun ownership, firearm law uniformity, right of self-defense, open carry, concealed carry, vehicle carry for whether you're a weapons permit holder or a non-permit holder. State parks and restaurants serving alcohol. Now I'm going to flip through a couple pages and show you the percentage, like Alabama's at 75%. Let's look at some others, you'll be shocked. Sorry everybody in California, but your laws are terrible for gun ownership. Just over 30% as far as total freedom. Terrible. Connecticut, ugh, 25% or so? That basically tells me if you're driving through Connecticut and you have a weapon in your car from another state, you're going to be in big trouble. Hey, you guys want to visit the Capitol building? Go to Washington, D.C.? Look at that number. I think this is the lowest one in the country. It's right at 8 9%. Basically saying you have zero rights to own a handgun or carry a handgun or knife or baton or anything through Washington, D.C. Be careful. Hey, Florida, where I live, not too bad. Almost 90%. We just got the open carry law, which basically says, you know, you can carry and if you're printing, you won't be arrested. Georgia. 90%, not bad. This one surprised me. Hawaii? What's going on over there in Hawaii? 15%? Basically, you don't have a right to bear arms? Maryland. This is an important one. Because it's right there on the East Coast, and a lot of you don't, do not realize how strict Maryland is on their gun laws. It's like, you can be five feet over the border, they do not care, and which is, which is what they should do. They should arrest you if you're in their state and you're breaking their laws. That's what law enforcement means. You break our laws within our state, we arrest you. It's your obligation to know our laws in our state. Maryland's way down there on the scale, and just a terrible state to travel through with a gun. Massachusetts, what's going on up there? I tell you, all you liberals, this is what you get. This is what you get. Fortunately, Senator Brown won that recent election. And if you live in Massachusetts, you better back Senator Brown and join the NRA and go fight to get that number from 15% up to 90 to 100% on the pendulum. So you get some freedom in your state. Basically, no freedom at all? Huh. Watch out. Watch out for New Jersey. Great state, great people, love you all, we're all Americans, we're all in this together. It's just, I don't get the laws and why they differ from state to state like this. It's, it shouldn't be that way. You, you saw how I read the Second Amendment, it's pretty straightforward. We all have the right to bear arms, I don't get it. We need to join the NRA and fight, fight, fight. Hey New Mexico, rock on! Over 90%, looking good. I can't go through all 50 states, but I'll say Alaska, hmm, rock on. Maybe Sarah Palin's got something we don't realize. She's got something going on over there in Alaska. Very. Okay, there you have it. GunLawGuide.com. You can see their phone number clearly.